<clears throat> no. Okay. So here we have 21 uh, people. Uh, please do respond whether you know me or if you do not know me, then it is also fine. I'll introduce myself. Okay, cool. Uh, so uh, before I start, uh, first, uh, please tell me uh, which semester you are all from, from which semester you are all from. Fifth semester. Fifth. Okay, cool. Fifth sem, third sem. Okay, cool. <clears throat> okay. So, uh, again, if you know me or not, it is okay. Like, uh, let me introduce uh, myself, a very small introduction about me. Uh, so, let me quickly share my screen. <clears throat> Yeah, I hope uh, my screen is visible, yes or no? Is my screen visible? Okay, very good. So, uh, quick introduction about me. My name is uh, Suchindra Ramesh. So, I'm from Bangalore. Uh, so, I have overall uh, seven years of uh, experience, IT experience as a developer. So, <clears throat> so I have overall seven years of experience as a software uh, developer and also a teacher. Okay, so, okay, sir, which company you are from? Okay, currently I'm working for one of the company, which is a product-based company. It is not in India, it is in US. So the company for which I'm working is, uh, it's it, the name happens to be Booker. Booker is the name of the company. So it's a product-based company based out of uh, California. <clears throat> it is in the US. Uh, their operations are not there in India. So I currently work as a remote uh, developer to Booker, right? Fine. Okay, sir, which technology are you working on? Currently, I'm working on complete, uh, you know, JavaScript uh, related uh, technologies. But sir, if you're working for JavaScript related technologies, do you know Java? You know, as the class goes on, you will know whether I know Java or not. I hope I am completely clear. So <clears throat> prior to this company called Booker, I also have experience uh, in working for one of the you know topmost pharmaceutical industries in the world. The name happens to be uh, Dr. Reddy's. You know, you might have seen uh, so many medicines with this name, Dr. Reddy Laboratories. So I have worked there as well as a software developer. So I, I was working on Angular uh, domain there. Uh, so, you know, that, that is also one of my, uh, you know, it, it's a kind of an achievement uh, that I've worked for uh, Dr. Reddy's, right? Next, uh, you know, sir, what about teaching? You know, I have uh, taught more than, uh, you know, 7,000 plus uh, students. I have more than 7,000 plus students I have uh, taught. So this is not the first batch for me. I have taught more than, uh, you know, 7,000 students. I don't have an exact count also. So, you know, now uh, I am very privileged to be sharing screen with you all. And then I'm very privileged uh, to be uh, teaching uh, Java to you. I hope I am completely clear, right? <clears throat> so, uh, is it clear? Is it clear till here? Okay, see. This is all about my introduction. This is not a, you know, a complete introduction. As the days progresses, you know, we will uh, know more about, uh, you, your people will get to know more about me. Not a problem uh, with that. Fine. So let us not waste any of the time. We are here to learn, uh, uh, you know, we, we are here for something like this. So Java full stack, correct? Yes or no? You're all here for, uh, you know, Java full stack, correct? Okay, cool. Uh, 
Guys, so when I'm asking a question, there are a few uh, things that I would like to clarify. When I'm asking you the questions, uh, please do respond, not a problem, right? Uh, whether you answer it, uh, you know, whether you give a wrong, uh, wrong answer or right answer, I will not, uh, you know, worry about it. Uh, but when I am speaking and when I am asking you something, please do respond, right? So that, uh, you know, it will be um, encouraging to me to continue, right? Fine. You're all uh, here for uh, Java full stack, uh, you know, day one. Yes or no? Day one. Yes or no? All of you are here for uh, the Java full stack uh, day one, correct? A few of you, a few might be telling, sir, this is a demo class, sir, not day one. Guys, I will uh, clarify you one thing, right? So, you know, there is nothing called as a demo class, right? Whatever the content that I will deliver today, that is the, you know, first day, whatever the content that I have to deliver in a normal batch, the same thing I would be delivering. That means today is the day where the batch is getting started. It is not that there will be separate uh, demo classes after uh, demo classes, you know, the actual classes will start. It is not like that. It is today. Like within in the next another five uh, or five or 10 minutes, I will be starting off the actual, uh, you know, session itself. I'll be starting off with the session itself. I hope I am completely clear with this. So if you have that doubt, sir, demo class, in demo class, you will be teaching something uh, apart from, uh, you know, the syllabus, whatever that is there in the syllabus. So, you know, I think uh, it is waste of time. Don't think like that at all. Demo class is for you, but for me, it is the first day of the syllabus. The first day, what all content that I have to deliver, I will be delivering it. Sir, then why is it called as a demo class, sir? See, one simple, I'll be starting off with one simple analogy. If you ask me, sir, what is that uh, analogy? Um, assume now, you're all, uh, you know, after uh, some years, you know, after uh, some uh, two, three years, or you are still studying, after five years, you will uh, learn and then you will get placed into a very good company. I hope you get placed, you all should get placed to a very good company. And then uh, with your own earning, you know, assume you want to buy a car. Uh, sir, we already have a car at our home. Already having a car at our home uh, or at your home is different. Uh, you know, buying a car from your own money is also completely different. So assume you put in all the hard work and then you get into a company and then you start, uh, you know, earning good amount of uh, salary and then you will plan to buy a car. Now, if at all you want to buy a car, uh, would you go directly to the showroom and ask, hey, I want this car, give it to me. Absolutely, you'll not be doing that. Rather, what you will do, whatever the car you like, maybe two or three brands of, uh, you know, cars that you would be liking, you would be visiting each and every showroom you know, many showrooms you would be visiting, you would be collecting the brochure, you would be collecting the pricing, everything you'd be doing. And later, uh, you know, <clears throat> what you will do, you'll ask for a test drive, yes or no? Because you should know, you are you are spending, you know, lakhs of money on the car. You should know how the car would, uh, uh, you know, how, how, how would be the feeling while driving the car, yes or no? Yes or no? Correct, right. If at all you want to buy a car, you would be going for a test drive. Yes or no? Please do respond. Right? <clears throat> Guys, am I not audible? Okay, cool. So, same story here also. See, you know, we are, you know, we have called, okay, yes, look, we have uh, st we have started one batch java batch where uh, you know you would get to learn a lot of things which would uh, definitely help you uh, build your career and then uh, it would be benefiting you in getting a job clearing the exam many things we have told but you know how can you believe us you 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 should not be blindly believing us right so you have to test you have to test, hey, whether this fellow, whatever the person who is uh, teaching Java, whoever the person who is teaching Java, whether uh, uh, he is uh, knowledgeable or not, whether uh, he knows Java or not, whether he knows how to teach or not, don't you think so? You have to test that. Uh, for that, for that reason, we have conducted this, or uh, we are calling this as a demo class. Now, don't feel Demo class means, you know, something and all we will be teaching and then apart from uh, the syllabus, we'll teach something else and then waste your time. Absolutely not. So since today is the first day, I'll be starting off with the syllabus right away. I hope I'm completely clear with that. Is it clear?
Is it clear? Okay, cool. Now, why are you attending this class? I have one question. Why are you attending this class? Why are you attending this class? Why are you attending this class? To learn Java full stack. Okay, very good. Next, any other answers? What is the agenda? What is the agenda? Again, you know, you have to answer, guys. You know, whenever I'm asking question, please do answer. Whatever the whatever you have, you please uh, tell it to me because uh, nobody will, uh, you know, scold you here or nobody will, uh, you know, tell something if you say something wrong. Absolutely not. I would be very happy whether, um, you know, it is right or wrong, I will not care, but I want you to speak up, right? Okay, very good. Improve the technical skills to know the basics of Java. Very good, very good. Fine. So why are you attending this class? So you are here to learn. So Java full stack. You are here to learn Java full stack. Now, <clears throat> Before you uh, learn something, okay, before you learn something, see, again, um, since uh, this is day one, as I told, I'll be starting off with the syllabus. That does not mean I cannot be writing the program from the first class itself. Because many of you, you know, I, 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 I don't uh, assume anything, right? Because whether you are from a CS background, whether you are from a mechanical background, whether you are from a civil background, whether you are from any background, I'm, I, I don't care about it, right? end of the day by the end of the discussion when i close something you know in you know by the end you would be understanding each and everything that is the confidence i have in myself i hope i am completely clear so <clears throat> so i you know don't expect me to write the program from first day itself because uh, you know many of you here you are new to java you know a few of you might be knowing some basics but not uh, completely so whenever you are learning something Always keep this in mind. Whenever you want to learn something, whenever you are learning something, learn from scratch. That is, learn from zero and then learn in depth. I hope I am completely clear. So whenever, you know, you learn something, please learn in depth. So half knowledge is always dangerous. I hope I am completely clear. That is the, <clears throat> the, the you know, that is the one thing that I always uh, tell to my students, right? So <clears throat> just give me one minute. Just give us. Sorry. So again, so you are here to uh, learn Java full stack. You 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 are saying uh, learn technical skills. Okay, but you know you should first understand if at all you are here for Java. You know why should you attend Java or why should you learn Java? You should understand this. Why should you learn Java? See, there should be some reason, right? Because, you know, you are here to learn Java. Why, why, why should you learn Java? That is my question. You know, what will you get by learning Java? These are the three things. Uh, these are the three parameters you should always ask yourself. The first question that you should al always ask yourself is, uh, <clears throat> why? Why should I learn something? You know, whether it is Java, whether it is JavaScript, whether it is Python, whether it is XYZ, whatever it is, why should you learn it? Why should you learn it? That is the first question. Now, and then what is uh, Java full stack? What is Java full stack? Or maybe this I will ask in the beginning itself, not a problem. So, what is uh, Java full stack? Second, why, why should I learn Java full stack? <clears throat> and uh, where? Where means, where do we use this? What is the application? You know, without knowing the application, where exactly we are using this, then the, what is the purpose of learning? I hope I am completely clear. So, these are the questions that you should be asking yourself. The first question that I will be asking you is, whether have you asked these questions to yourself yes or no 
have you asked the questions have you asked these questions to yourself again this is not um, you know uh, specifically to java whatever technology it is whether you want to learn java whether you want to learn python whether you want to learn whatever the subject it is you know not only programming any subject you know before you uh, join engineering did you people ask yourself hey why am i joining engineering you know what is engineering you know where do we uh, apply the things that we learn in engineering have you asked yourself yes or no please do answer guys you know uh, let us not uh, make it boring only one hour discussion it is uh, so i i would like to uh, i i would expect answers from you please <clears throat> it, it would be definitely benefiting you that is the point it would benefit you <clears throat> okay fine Guys, am I audible? Uh, is my voice audible? Yes or no? Okay, cool. So I, I have asked you one question. Fine. Uh, whether you have asked these questions to you, uh, I will consider it as a no. Fine. If you have not asked, then I, I will uh, start answering this question. Fine. What is uh, the Java full stack? You know, in this, I will divide this into two parts. You know, what is this Java and what is this uh, full stack? Later, I'll come back to it <clears throat> because, you know, the entire discussion is Java full stack only. So I cannot be uh, telling in two minutes that what, is, what exactly is Java full stack. But, uh, you know, by the end of the discussion, you would be understanding uh, what is uh, the full stack, Java full stack. You would get a clarity. Second, you know, why should you learn Java? That is the second question. Why should you learn Java? And now you tell me, you have to answer this question. Whether it is right or wrong, I would not mind. Uh, why, why should you learn Java? Please answer, guys. Whatever answers you have, you give it to me. You know, the, the session should be interactive. Without the interaction, it would be boring, right? Only one hour discussion, not more than that. You know, I want you to learn something from this and then uh, you, you should be going back or you should be uh, closing your uh, devices, whether it is a mobile or laptop. I would prefer, you know, you should be joining through the laptop. It would be helpful. Don't uh, join through phones. If you have joined through mobiles, good. But uh, try to join through mobile. Uh, sorry, laptop. <clears throat> now, please answer this question, guys. Why should you learn Java? What, what is the purpose? You, Whatever answers you have, you give it to me. Why, why are you hesitating to answer? I won't scold you. Again, I'm telling you, I'm a very friendly guy. Uh, I would... Uh, you know, like to help you out. Isn't demand for the software very good to develop apps since Java is the most used programming language? Very good. Any other answers, guys? In demand uh, software. Very good. Any other answers? Whatever answers you have, you give it to me. Because see, there are uh, 20 students in that uh, you remove me. Uh, so 19 students are there. Why don't you answer? When I'm asking question, please, you know, express yourself, whatever answers you have, you give it to me. I'll wait for one minute. Uh, if you don't, uh, uh, you know, give it, then I will continue with the discussion. <clears throat> okay, so I'll continue. It is used in many applications you have told. Very good, very good. So why Java? Why Java? I'll tell you. See, you know, few of you in your college, uh, you know, you know, I have seen it. I have met many people in uh, my life where they say, hey, who will use uh, Java? Who will use data structures? It is all gone. Nobody is using Java. You know, if somebody says that to you, you know, you can directly tell that person, hey, you are a fool. The same, the, the, the same thing you can tell. Because I will tell you why you should learn Java. Keep this in mind, guys. Keep this in mind. Java, you know, using Java, there are 9 billion applications have been developed. Nine billion applications have been developed. 
Uh, how much is 9 billion? Can anybody guess how much is 9 billion? Okay, you know, not exaggerating. This is the, uh, you know, figures that is given by Oracle, the one uh, you know, who is owning Java now. So, you know, 9 billion apps have been uh, developed using Java. Can you tell me what is a 1 billion? What is 1 billion? That means, that means, see here, 9 billion in the sense it is, uh, <clears throat> 1 billion equal to 100 crore. So, 900 crore applications have been built using uh, Java. I'm not exaggerating. Again, if you want, you can go back and check you know, how many applications have been developed uh, using Java, you know, you will get this, the, the same count. The, this is what they have given in the Oracle website. I have, I don't have to lie to you because I won't get anything by, uh, you know, telling lies, right? You know, I, I whatever that I say, absolutely, uh, it makes sense. <clears throat> if you want, you can cross verify. So if at all Java is not that useful, if people are not using, then how come 900 crore applications that has got developed using Java? I hope I am completely clear. If it is not so popular and if it is not so powerful, then nobody will waste time, waste money to create 9 billion apps. I hope I am completely clear. That is the first thing. Now, the second thing is till, till 2020 or till 2019, you know, Java was number one programming language. Sir, but uh, now it is 2022, sir. Now which rank, sir? Uh, now which rank it is uh, in, you know, it is fluctuating. It is uh, second and third. Maybe I will consider it to be third rank. Third rank in uh, 2022. Sir, okay, sir. In 2022, it is third rank, sir. You know, by the time we come out of engineering, it will be 2024 or 2025, sir. Uh, by that time, you know, the rank decreased. Absolutely not. Java, you know, was a king. It is a king. It will always remain a king. I hope I'm completely clear. Sir, since you want us to join, uh, you know, you're telling some lies, sir. Absolutely. I don't want to lie. You know, if you want, you go back and cross check this. What is the rank according to uh, some, uh, you know, websites? You will get the rank of programming languages. Okay, sir. Why third rank, sir? Why should we learn uh, the application or the programming language which is on the third rank? I'll give you one analogy. Very simple analogy, guys. You know, I'll tell you what are the other uh, benefits. You know, why should you go for Java? You know, later you, you take your decision. Now, I'll tell you one analogy before I continue. See, very simple. In uh, during the time, how many of you remember Sachin Tendulkar? How many of you remember Sachin Tendulkar? Is there anybody who, who doesn't know Sachin Tendulkar? Absolutely not. You know, during uh, 2011 World Cup, you know, prior to that, that is uh, 10 years back, you know, uh, international uh, ranking uh, for Sachin Tendulkar, initially he was uh, first rank. He was first rank. And, uh, you know, Virat Kohli, I know, you know, everybody know Virat. So first rank and then just an analogy and then this is the fact also Virat was uh, somewhere around uh, seventh rank or something like that. Maybe I don't have the I, like I don't uh, know the exact year but in uh, 2010, 2011 something like that 2010 or 11. Okay now after uh, two years maybe 2012 what happened was uh, Sachin <clears throat> moved to 8th rank or maybe 5th uh, rank and Virat moved to 1st rank. Uh, now tell me, just because Sachin moved to 5th rank, you know, just because he, he moved to 5th rank, does that mean Sachin was a bad cricket player? Absolutely not. Whether Sachin is in 1st place, whether Sachin is in 5th place, he will always be a legend. Uh, the same story, same logic applies to Java as well. Now, <clears throat> you know, just for your explanation, I took this example. Java also from 1990s, Java exists from 1990s. In the 2000, that is the uh, 20th century, Java ruled the entire world. You know, in the 21st century also, majority of the 21st century till 2018-2019, Java was number one only. There was no competitor for Java itself. Later, 
you know by the impact of uh, you know machine learning uh, you know artificial intelligence and all they started giving uh, hype to python so they say hey, python uh, you know so python uh, started moving uh, the ranks but still you know now in the year 2022 you know python it's first rank and java it is fluctuating between second and third maybe i will take the third rank itself that does not make Java any bad programming language. I hope I am completely clear. Because if it was a bad programming language, it got, you know, they developed Java in 1990s. So from 1990, today it is 2022 in another 15 days or 10 days, it is uh, 2023, you know, 28 years, you know, one programming language cannot, can never exist if it is bad. I hope I am completely clear. So that is why I told you Java was a king. Java is a king. Java will always be the king. Sir, okay, sir. Till how many years uh, that uh, Java, you know, has a future, sir? You know, you need not worry about it. You can definitely uh, earn your bread and butter using Java. And then whenever you join the company, it is not that you will be learning, uh, you know, if you learn Java, that is sufficient. Absolutely not. When you join the company, you know, initially you will start working on Java. Later, you will be moved to some other technology. Maybe they will ask you, hey, you should start learning. Hey, Java is, uh, you know, you, you already know Java. Apart from Java, start learning some front-end technologies like Angular. Start learning React. Start learning, you know, uh, DevOps. Start learning DevOps, Jenkins. You know, many things, you know, when you go to the industry, it is like a ocean. You know, in industry, don't think, you know, if you learn Java today, you know, after 20 years also, you'll be working on Java. Absolutely not. To get into industry, what is needed, that is what matters for you. Once you get into industry later, learning new things and all up to you, and then you will be moving with the flow. But how is that you have to get inside the industry or how, how what, what, what is the thing that is needed for you to get into industry? That is what you have to worry about. I hope I am completely clear. So, see, I should have lied at you, like, you know, hey, Java is first rank now, now also, you know, after 10 years also, Java will be first rank. Absolutely, I don't want to lie, you know, I have to speak about facts, right? So, I am telling you, 19th century, that is uh, by the end of uh, 19th century, that is 1990s, Java got invented, 2000s, that is the 20th century, entire 20th century, Java ruled the world, 21st century also Java ruled the world, right? By the end of 21st century, because of uh, some, uh, um, you know, facts or some, uh, um, you know, some features, you know, uh, you know, Java moved, the, uh, moved down, but we don't have to worry about. It is not that Java will go down. Tomorrow, what Oracle can do, they can also include features that are, um, the, you know, that can make Java better so that Java can move to the first rank again. They, you know, no doubt about it. Because it was king for, you know, two decades. So you, you, you don't have to worry about it. Am I completely clear with the first point? Is it completely clear with the first point? Yes or no? Please do respond. Yes or no? Okay. Very good. Okay, sir. Fine. You know, first rank, third rank, fine. Okay. Well, you know, in one more small example, if I have to give, you know, VTU. You know, if you are affiliated to VTU or any university, if the university topper, whether he is a first rank, whether he is a third rank, don't you think so? You know, all of them, you know, are better. You know, third rank means, uh, you know, he is not a bad guy in, uh, you know, studies, right? So, same, same analogy applies here as well, right? The second point which I have to make here is, uh, <clears throat> you know, you know, what you have to see, you know, whenever you are learning something, first, you know, why should I do it? What is the popularity? Java from this, from the above uh, explanation, I hope you understood it is a very popular programming language. And then the second question that you have to ask is, if I learn Java in 2022 or 2023, will there be job opportunities? You know, what is the job market for Java in 2022? Job market for Java in 2022? What is the job market for Java? That is, <clears throat> maybe, for freshers, I can say. I don't worry about others because you're all freshers. So, you have to worry about this. What is the job market? 
again i don't want to lie uh, again i will just prove it to you i'll just uh, explain it to you see here <clears throat> java developer job opportunities or fresher jobs in bangalore now when i scroll down this is the result that i am getting this is the result that i am getting from google now you cannot say hey whatever the numbers that you are showing is factual you know so many job opportunities it cannot exist absolutely not you know this is the now this is only nowcree.com you know similar to nowcree you have something called indeed you have something called glassdoor you have something called uh, you know monster these are the websites different websites will have different job postings but what is the search that i did i just did see here java developer fresher jobs in bangalore fresher jobs only for freshers in the location also bangalore i have not spoken about mysore i have not spoken about chennai i have not spoken about mumbai i have not spoken about any other states or any other cities i have only spoken about bangalore only bangalore that too only naukri.com now you can see 22685 java fresher jobs only in bangalore i hope i am completely clear i hope you can uh, uh, you know um, you can analyze from this 22000 odd jobs only in one city then assume how many jobs will be there in one state how many jobs will be there in multiple states how many jobs will be there in different cities from this what is the conclusion that you have to come if you now ask me so if i learn java the number of job opportunities will be more more number of opportunities that means more number of, or more chance of getting selected am i completely clear with this so this is the one thing you have to uh, think about now i have only spoken about freshers i have not searched for experienced Yes or no? What is the search that I have made? You can observe here only fresher developer uh, or Java developer fresher job openings. But if I try to search, hey, one to two years, two to four years, four to eight years, then you will you will understand the number of opportunities or number of vacancies for Java. Now, second doubt you might be having, sir. Everybody are telling, sir, you know there is one recession. It seems in US uh, recession will that impact? i am not going to tell that you know recession will not be impacting you but but as a fresher if at all you are joining a company as a fresher absolutely the impact will be very less the impact will be very less if you observe if you are in a social media absolutely every one of you are in social media you know you'll be in facebook you'll be in uh, instagram you'll be in you know xyz uh, sites but you know i don't know whether you are seeing the valid or quality content i i don't know i am not worried about it but if you have observed carefully you know too many companies have laid off twitter has laid off many people facebook has laid off many people google has laid off many people you know uh, accenture has laid off many people you know those information you would have seen but is there or have anybody mentioned that they have laid off freshers absolutely not the one who are there in the company for you know many years that is 10 years experience 12 years experience and then you know whatever the job responsibilities they had was very less so those kind of people and then the the one with very less performance you know the one who did not do the job well only they used to collect the paycheck those kind of people were laid off have you ever seen that hey all the freshers are laid off absolutely not google yesterday i saw one news that uh, google are planning to uh, hire you know thousands of uh, you know freshers as interns with a very good package uh, that means as a fresher if at all you are joining a company or if at all you are willing to uh, join a job or if at all you are you are looking out for a job then you don't have to worry about a recession at all because it won't affect you in any ways so it will affect only the senior members of the company those who are uh, you know very uh, very much uh, you know problematic to the company those kind of people are laid off not uh, freshers i hope i am completely clear so two things i wanted to uh, convince here one you know why should you learn java because it is popular see here because it's the most popular <clears throat>
programming language and then over 9 billion apps have been developed using java and then you know these rank also you you can go and check i don't have to lie i have not lied also next the second point is the job market for freshers for java so when you see 23,000 uh, opportunities only in Bangalore. Don't you think so? The job market is promising for freshers only for uh, Java technology. Those who learn Java, you know, the job market is, uh, you know, <clears throat> encouraging. It, it, it did not show 200 openings, 150 opening. Rather, it showed 22,000. And now it is December. Always keep this in mind, guys. December is the time companies will not be recruiting. During the time of during the time of December, majority of the companies will not be recruiting, because what happens is this is the Christmas time. They call it as a holiday time. During these holidays, all the recruitment will be blocked. <clears throat> Everything will be blocked. At this point of time, if you see twenty two thousand openings, now assume when they come back in maybe January, mid Jan, or by the by the beginning of February, you know, the number of opportunities will be doubled. I hope I am completely clear. Sir, how can you say that, sir? How can you say I have that experience? Because I have seen the market from the past, uh, you know, five, six years, because I am also a developer. You know, before I got into job, I was also one amongst you. So all these things I've considered. I hope I am completely clear with this. Now, job market is also done. <laughs> Next. Okay, sir. What are things uh, that we need to consider? Always keep this in mind. I am telling you, why should you learn Java? I'll give you more points on this uh, so that, you know, you can go back and you have to research yourself. Now, because, you know, you have to check the facts. I am not here to, you know, speak lies. I hope I am clear with that. Okay, sir. What next? Now, always keep this in mind. Java is uh, beginner friendly. <clears throat> sorry beginner friendly it is beginner friendly sir what is this beginner friendly sir uh, beginner friendly means as a fresher see i have taught students from various backgrounds so if you ask me sir what are the different backgrounds i have taught students from bba bcom bsc bca and then in engineering you know computer science mechanical electronics many of my students from electronics background, many of my students from EC background, many of my students from telecommunication background, all of them, you know, once they start learning Java, you know, if it is taught in a right manner, it is very easy for you to learn. Now you might feel, hey, sir, so much of code, you know, as soon as I saw the code, you know, I got gobrified, something like that, absolutely need not worry about it. As soon as you, you know, start learning in a specific approach, I have one approach to teach. If you get used to that approach, absolutely, whether irrespective of what background you are from, even if you are from fine arts background, you will be able to write code in Java. That is the confidence I have in myself because I am the one who teaches Java. So <clears throat> I have that confidence. You know, if you put in efforts, absolutely, it is very easy for you to learn. Okay, sir, what is the next thing? You know, continuous updates. Okay, sir, what is this continuous update, sir? Huh. Now, if you are using uh, mobile phones, right? If you are using uh, the mobile phones, you have used many applications, right? Uh, you know, every one month, every two months, you know, updates will be getting released. Uh, same story. What Oracle people will do is every three months or every two months, they will be introducing new features to Java. So they keep on adding new, new features to Java. Uh, so as soon as they keep on adding new features to Java, as a programmer, it would benefit you in many ways. Sir, how will it benefit? How will it benefit? When I talk about the feature, you will understand. But always keep this in mind. Whenever you have a programming language which has continuous updates, then you know that is that is going in the right direction. That is that is one of the points that you have to consider. Okay, sir. What next? What next is uh, rich community support? Okay, sir. What is this uh, community support? Uh, what is this community support? If you now ask me, community support means number of developers who have written code in Java. 
okay sir what does that mean see when you join the industry don't ever think in this approach as soon as the you know uh, requirement is given to you you will start writing the code and then there will be uh, like like how you write the lab program without referring to anything you should be writing the lab program you should be executing and you should be showing the output that is how it works in the college correct if you know if they give you one program without copying or without uh, you know uh, without looking at the book you have to write it and execute it whether you have by hearted it or whether you have learnt it correctly they won't mind but in industry what happens is you can never ever write code without referring to different blogs without referring to various blogs various information on the internet you will not be able to write anything that is how complex the industry is right when you start writing the code if you are stuck somewhere there should be somebody to help you yes or no if you are stuck somewhere and then if nobody is there to help you then you will feel like committing suicide i hope i am completely clear so the rich community support means number of <clears throat> or solutions for majority so what does that mean means whatever the requirement is given to you whatever the requirement is given to you already some developer has got that requirement he has already developed that requirement so that entire code he will be putting it on the internet that is how it works so when you search for some feature and then you will get an idea by referring to that idea you can implement that point or the or that that logic in your code i hope i am completely clear with that am i completely clear so why why java you know these are the points that i have not only you know this you know many other points i can give but this is sufficient i hope so you do your research you go back home anyway you are in home only you you will be having internet use internet for a proper purpose go and search whatever that i have told and then whatever that i have told if it is wrong then you you know it's up to you whatever you say i will do it i hope i am completely clear is it completely clear till here yes or no <clears throat> is it completely clear till here you have any doubts till here uh, please you have to uh, answer this question uh, because uh, we have uh, 10 or 15 more minutes i have to convey uh, many other things so please do uh, <clears throat> no doubts okay whatever the way whatever the approach that i am trying to convey is it uh, you know uh, complicated for you to understand is it complex okay cool so so far i hope uh, no problems for you now the next question is uh, where so where is uh, java used that is what type of applications what type of applications are developed using java this question you have to ask yourself because if you learn java if you become java developer this is the first thing you have to ask because you know you should know what type of application that you are developing Uh, if you now ask me, okay, sir, what are the different types of applications that I can be developing using Java? If you now ask me, I will tell you. Keep on noticing the first type of <clears throat> application that you can develop using Java. If you now ask me, what is the type you can <clears throat> you can develop web applications? Okay, sir. what is a web application what is a web application what is a architecture behind the web application i will talk about it in some time or maybe if not today maybe in coming class i'll talk about it but if i have to give an example of a web application i will say your netflix whatever the application that you see this netflix this netflix is a web application maybe twitter is a, a web application see this twitter is one web application you have something called as uh, uber this you know where you can buy or book a cab book a, uh, you know bike auto something like that that is a web application you know amazon 
your Amazon, whatever Amazon that you have, this Amazon also a web application. In other words, whatever the examples that I have taken here, Netflix, Twitter, Uber, Amazon, all these web applications behind, you know, they have used Java. I hope I am completely clear. So, <clears throat> so in Java, we have various technologies. So technologies such as Springs and Hibernate, Springs. You don't worry about it. These, these uh, things might be new to you. You know, you might be he hearing this for the first time. You don't have to worry about it. There are a few technologies like this, Hibernate, <clears throat> Spring Boot, these are the various technologies you have, you know, they have developed various web applications such as Netflix. They have developed Netflix, you know, backend Netflix, they have, uh, you know, used Java behind. If you want to go research, I, I don't have to lie at all. You go and you do your research. Whatever that I am giving here, absolutely, <clears throat> or uh, absolutely, uh, you know, uh, I am giving the facts. Since web applications, don't we use HTML with Java? Absolutely, HTML, CSS, any other framework will be using. But main programming language which provides the data to you, you know, that will be Java. The you know behind you know backend we call it backend will be developed using Java. So what are the different web applications or very you know popular web application? Amazon. Amazon is also uh, Java itself. I, I hope you would have heard about uh, Spotify, the you know music app. You know millions of uh, songs are there in Spotify. That also you know is developed using uh, Java. And then Google, Google Earth. There is one application called Google Earth. If you don't know about it, just search for it. That Google Earth application also is developed using Java. See Google uh, Docs also they have used Java for this. Very popular, I am telling, you know, there are thousands and lakhs of application, popular applications, which are built using Java. Very few I am uh, mentioning here. Uh, Uber is there. Twitter is there. Maybe, etc. I will call it. Next, you know, NASA also, you know, I, I don't remember the name of that uh, application. Uh, maybe tomorrow I will uh, tell you. But NASA also internally, they use uh, Java for one of their uh, application. So if it is not popular, if it is not powerful, if it is not useful, these, do you think these companies will spend their time, spend their money, all these things, uh, you know, for uh, developing the software? Yes or no? Yes or no? Absolutely, they will not be wasting that time. Maybe, <clears throat> yeah, that I, I, I remember NASA, you know, this, this website you can refer. NASA's uh, website, there is one website called as uh, uh, Worldwind, correct? World Wind is the software which you know which is developed using uh, Java. So you know, do you think NASA will simply waste money by developing the software for years? Absolutely not. Since they found Java to be very powerful, you know whatever the features that were available in Java, they 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 now came to a conclusion that okay, we will be going with Java. These are the few web applications. Then then many more and many more I can say. Okay, cool. Next, I continue with the discussion. Again, it is taking time. Please, uh, you know, please concentrate. You know, another 15, 20 minutes, not more than that. I will wind up the session. So continue. Second one, mobile applications. Mobile apps also, you know, can be developed. Sir, what are you telling, sir? Mobile apps can be developed. Uh, have you heard about uh, Android operating system? Android, have you heard about Android? Uh, Android OS is also built. Some features of Android OS is also built using uh, Java. So 85 or 90% of mobile apps, Android mobile apps are built, are built using Java technology. That to core Java, not advanced or anything, only core Java it uses. So if at all you learn Java, there are possibilities where you can learn Android and then <clears throat> you can learn uh, Android and then, uh, you know, you know, you can contribute. I hope I am completely clear. So 90% <clears throat> 
Okay, ninety percent of uh, Android uh, apps they are built using Java. Again, nowadays you know there are other technologies. There is something called as Kotlin, which uh, you know uh, which is developed by Google, right? Uh, because see, uh, Java is a Oracle's product. Oracle and Google, they don't like each other. There is a very big conflict between them. So what uh, Java thought was, hey, we should teach some lesson to this uh, Oracle. They are uh, too uh, egoistic. So we will develop our own programming language. But unfortunately, there, the fact is, Kotlin is also built on JVM, Java Virtual Machine. That is a fact. If you want, you can uh, go and uh, you know research yourself. Uh, and then nowadays, you know, JavaScript is very booming. So there is something called as React Native. Using React Native, absolutely yes. Using uh, React Native, absolutely you can develop the applications. But the number of applications that are developed using Java compared to any others, you know, it is absolutely, you, you cannot compare it. So that is the reason. If you want to go and research, at least 90% of Android mobile applications are built using Java. And now tell me, is there any, uh, you know, do you have a count of uh, the number of mobile applications that you have on uh, Android operating system or Android Play Store? Absolutely not. Millions of applications are there. So if millions of applications are there, so don't you think so? All the millions of applications are written using Java. And then if at all you are developing new apps using, uh, you know, Android, don't you think so? You would need Java for it. Uh, so that is also one point, conclusive point that, you know, Java is going nowhere. Java will be the king for next 10 years. You need not worry about it. I hope I am completely clear with that. So Android OS and many or millions of third one. Again, I cannot, you know, it is foolish that I had to mention all the app names. You know, in your phone itself, there are 100 apps. So all the 100 apps, they have built using Java. So that is the power of Java. Now, okay, sir, what are the different, uh, this one, sir? Next what, sir? Uh, enterprise, enterprise applications. Oh, sir, what is the enterprise application means? Servers. Maybe I can say web servers. Web servers. Oh, web servers. See, according to Oracle, according to Oracle, ninety-seven percent of all in all uh, enterprise apps So 97% of web servers are configured using Java. This is, you know, they're on their website. If you want to research, so you can, you can just Google it. Enterprise apps uh, in Java. If you say, you know, th this is the first thing that you'll be getting. That means out of 100 web servers that are there on the internet, 97 web servers are developed using Java. Now, I hope you are, you are realizing, you know, what uh, that you are, uh, you know, you are here to learn. So if you have that fear that, hey, you know, if I learn Java, will I be, hey, will I be getting some help or not? Absolutely. You don't have to worry about it. Next, have you heard of AWS? Anybody AWS? Have you heard of AWS? Anybody? AWS, please do uh, respond. AWS. No, few are saying yes, few are saying no. AWS means Amazon Web Service. So if you say, see here, when I say something like this, uh, book my show, when I say like this, now you are actu actually accessing one server. That means this application is stored in one server. Uh, the, that server itself is AWS. Many like millions of applications that are hosted you know, all the applications are hosted in the server and uh, that servers, you know, I call it as AWS, you know, from Amazon, that AWS also 90% mainly uses Java. AWS also mainly uses Java. AWS is the, you know, uh, cow which is giving milk to Amazon. In, in other words, you know, by the revenue, by the revenue that is generated by AWS, by the revenue that is generated by AWS, you know, Amazon is making billions of uh, uh, amount. 
only one product that is AWS, that AWS is also built mainly using Java. I hope I am completely clear. Next, I continue. What are the different uh, apps, sir? Notice, uh, embedded. What is embedded? Embedded means where uh, there is a interaction between <clears throat> software and hardware. There is an interaction between software and hardware. We call it as embedded. So there, you know, that is the accessing or controlling the processor, these things. So if you know, ask me, sir, you know, don't worry about embedded much because in, in your engineering, you'll be learning uh, the concepts of microprocessor, microcontrollers. In that, you'll be understanding it. If you don't understand, you can anyway ping me. I will be helping you with that but in embedded applications. Okay, sir, what are the different embedded applications where Java can be used? Uh, SIM cards. Whatever the SIM cards that you have, right, in your phone, all the SIM card technology that you use in phone, it is completely developed using Java. You know, it is a fact, guys. You, If you want to go and research it, you know, if, 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 if I am lying, why, you know, do you think I can lie in such a confidence? Absolutely not. I am, you know, very proud about Java because I am teaching Java with uh, passion because, you know, I know the advantages of Java. I have taught Java to thousands of students, you know, they, they know the importance of it. So that is the reason, you know, I, I don't want to miss this out. So even if it is getting 10 minutes late, I want to give this information to you. I'm not wasting your time. This is needed for you. I continue. Blu-ray discs. You know, in, in, in your computers, in if, if your laptops are a bit old, then uh, you are having one DVD writers. So, you know, you, you, you were able to insert DVDs into your laptops. Uh, inside that, there is something called Blu-ray disc reader. Uh, that means whenever you insert a CD, uh, when you insert a CD and then if you push into laptop, whatever the content that are there in the CD, you know, it was visible to your uh, system. You know how? Uh, because of Java. Big Java plays a very big part in Blu-ray discs also or Blu-ray player, I can call it. Next, you know, you know, in many of your home, there will be something called as a setup box. So, you know, cable, you know, where you will be able to watch some serials, movies, cricket and all. The setup box also uses Java as a technology. So, so that is one of the uh, feature. Next what, sir? Next what? Uh, many of you would have heard about this big data. This world, at least you would have heard. Okay, sir, what is big data? Big data means, uh, you know, huge data. That is, you will be having billions of records, millions of records. Uh, if you have such a huge data, how do you handle it? In order to handle big data, there is a very popular technology called as Hadoop. There is a very popular technology called as Hadoop. So Hadoop is a big data platform. <clears throat> created using Java. I hope I am completely clear with this. See, since you know I have very minimal time today, I am moving with a bit pace. But you know, if you are interested to know what more, what more, I am there to help you. You can ask me, no, no doubt about it. Next, I continue. Oh, is there, what is next? You know, there is something called as trading apps. You know, is there anybody who knows some idea, who has some idea about trading? That is shares, share market and all, any, any idea? You guys have any idea? about shares and all shares you know mutual funds many things are there right you know if you have that idea trading apps very popular trading apps there is something called as uh, one app called as uh, murex very popular is developed using java in other words java is not specific to one domain you can create web application, you can create mobile application, you can create servers, you can create embedded application, you can create IoT applications, you can also use Java in big data, you can also use Java in artificial intelligence also you can use. Sir, 
uh, then uh, why why are we not learning uh, artificial intelligence in java sir why why only in python see python has few libraries which are you know which are more easier to use compared to java that is why you know artificial intelligence people prefer to use python that does not mean using java you cannot do artificial intelligence you will be able to do it next uh, maybe one 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 last uh, or one or two things i will tell and then i will uh, proceed with the last discussion for today notice see <clears throat> the next one is uh, scientific or maybe i will say uh, something like this games so sir using java can we develop games sir yes there are few games not not uh, you know very popular games uh, that only using java you can create but mobile games you can create using java and android there are very few there are very uh, important games or very good games that have developed in java if you ask me what is that there is something called as uh, minecraft <clears throat> there is something called uh, uh, minecraft you know just research about this it is something uh, with respect to mines and all. It's a simple game. It is a very good uh, game. So this game also is developed using Java. So, sir, only Minecraft, sir. No, there are many other uh, games. But unfortunately, I, I don't remember all the names. So, where else, sir? Uh, where else means automation testing also. Automation testing. You can use Java. Okay, sir. How, sir? What is automation testing? Automation testing means, you know, you, you, you write the code and the code will test the software for you. Okay, sir. What, what is the technology, sir? Uh, using one technology called as Selenium with Java. Or Selenium can be, the Selenium can be used with Java in order to write the automation. So you, you write the code, just if you execute the code, automatically the entire application will be tested. That is the power of Java. I hope I am completely clear. Sir, only eight, sir? Absolutely not. If I, if I have time, I can also, I can list up to 30, 40 uh, things or 30, 40 domains where Java can be used. So from this, what is the conclusion that I'm making if you ask me? Now, we, we were asking three questions for ourselves. Now, what is Java full stack? I will talk about it in the next five minutes. Now, why, why should we learn Java? You know, these are the points. I hope it is sufficient for you to understand why should we go for Java. Third, where is Java used? What are the types of applications that are developed using Java? If you go through these many applications, I hope it is, uh, you know, more than clear for you that if you learn Java, that means one or the other domain, you can, you can contribute as a developer. I hope I am completely clear. Till here, do you have any confusion? Till here, do you have any confusion? You have any confusion still here? Please do respond. <clears throat> okay can i continue for uh, can i can i take some 10 more minutes i'm sorry i'm taking i'm stretching for uh, you know a bit today but i'll not be doing that uh, tomorrow is that fine if i stretch for 10 more minutes guys please do respond okay thank you very much thank you for having the patience now now we understood where what or uh, we understood, uh, you know, uh, you know why why should we learn Java and where where should we learn Java? Now we should understand what is Java full stack. What is Java full stack? I told you, Java is a programming language. You don't worry about it. Because we will be covering some 400 hours completely on Java. You don't worry about it. What is the programming language? Who invented it? All those stories I will tell you. For now, only for today, Java is a programming language. Keep that with you. I will talk about full stack. I will talk about full stack. Okay, sir. What is uh, full stack, sir? Uh, what is full stack? Anybody? Can, can anybody tell me what is full stack? Anybody, can you tell me what is full stack?
includes front end and back end. Very good. Very good. So notice if you don't know about full stack, you need not worry about it. See here. I will explain it with the diagram. You don't have to worry about it. I'll take 10 more minutes, guys. Please uh, have uh, some patience uh, with me. Don't start scolding me. Hey, this fellow, first day itself, he told one hour and then he's stretching till one hour, 30 minutes and all. It is for your benefit. I, I can shut down now also, but I want to, uh, you know, give proper knowledge to you. Uh, you know, anyway, you have not paid anything for it. I have not asked you to pay anything also. Please, you know, have some 20 minutes time with you so that uh, I'll give you the complete confidence. Now notice, if you ask me, sir, what is a full stack? Notice it. <clears throat> Every application, any web application you take, whether it is Netflix, whether it is Twitter, Uber, Amazon, Book My Show, whatever web application, be it WhatsApp also. Whatever application you take, any web application will have three different layers. If you ask me, sir, what are the three different layers? The first layer happens to be the front end. If you ask me, sir, what is a front end? Front end is nothing but anything that user sees and anything with which the user interacts. Uh, now book my show, whatever that I am seeing, this is a front end. If I click here, some banner is moving. That is a front end using which I'm interacting with the software. See, I want to watch this movie called Veda. If I want to watch it, I will just click on it. If I click on it, I am seeing some information from where this information we are getting. We will talk about it a bit later. But whatever that I am seeing and whatever that I am trying to uh, interact with, it is called as a front end. Am I completely clear? Now, notice there is something called as a front end. Okay, sir, what next? And then front end will interact. The front end will interact with the back end. See here, it will be like this. It will interact with the back end. How it will interact? You know, in the course, in depth, you will be understanding. But front end will interact with some person. His name happens to be back end. Or maybe I can call it as a middleware. Okay, sir, what is the responsibility, sir? What is the responsibility? Again, I'm telling you, since today we are not that mature enough, I will not be telling you completely. I will just say, you know, you know, back end, what will back end do? It will have the business logic. What is business logic? How should a business logic be written? Everything I will cover, not a problem. Next, next what, sir? What is the next layer we have, sir? Uh, what is the next layer we have? If you ask me, the next layer that we have, I call it as a database. You have something called as a database. Okay, sir, what will be there inside the database, sir? Uh, what will be there inside the database? I will tell you. Don't worry. I'm sorry. I'll just copy this. Okay. Or, and then backend will talk to database. Database will talk to backend. How? We will configure it a bit later. Now, now this database, what will the database have, sir? Uh, database will have the data, actual data, whatever that you see on the front end that will be there inside the database. Okay, sir. How to store the data into database? Today, I will not tell you. You don't ask me. But Whatever the data that you are able to see here, all the images, information, this photo, all these things will be stored in the database. Okay, sir, what is the duty of the backend? Uh, duty of the backend is go to database, take the data and pass it to the front end. So on the front end, you will see the images. You will see the images and then you will be interacting with. I hope I am completely clear with that. You understood what exactly is a web application consists of? Any web application will be consisting of what? Three layers. One, front-end layer. Second one, it is a middleware or I call it as a back-end layer. And the third one, it is called as a database. Front-end. Front-end means anything with which the user interacts. Back-end. Back-end means actual business logic will be written. So it is the duty of the back-end to go to the database, 
take the data that is present in the database and send it to the front end. The duty of the database. What is the duty of the database? To store the data. Enormous, enormous amount of data. I hope I am completely clear. Is, is, is there any confusion up until this point? Any confusion up until this point? Okay, I continue. Next what, sir? Uh, next what? Notice it. Okay, sir, how will they develop this uh, front end, sir? Uh, using some technologies such as HTML, CSS, maybe Bootstrap, maybe Material, maybe JavaScript. JavaScript is absolutely needed. Maybe Angular, maybe React, etc. So many technologies are there for you know developing this front end what all technologies when time comes i will talk about it but not today but if at all you want to develop a front end something like this something like this you would need these many technologies at least these many technologies you know more also you would be needing okay sir back end how you know in what programming language or what is the technology that will be used for uh, creating the back end you can use java you can use python you can use .NET, you can use Node.js, etc. Many things are there, you know, Ruby on Rails is there. I will not be mentioning all those things. You, if you, you know, if you have not heard about it, you will get confused. So these are the technologies we'll be using uh, the backend. Database, sir. Okay, sir, what is this database, sir? Uh, database, we will be writing SQL. We call it as SQL. Maybe in SQL, you have MySQL, you have MongoDB, you have maybe Postgres, many things are there, PLSQL, no database, many things are there, you don't worry about it, I'll talk about it when time comes. Today, this is sufficient for me. Okay, sir, next what? If at all, you learn only front-end, if at all, you learn only front-end, you'll be called as front-end engineer or front-end developer. Oh, okay, sir. Next what? If I learn only back-end, what, what I'll be called as, sir? I'll be called as back-end engineer. Any other name, sir? No. Back-end engineer is sufficient for now. Okay, sir. If I learn only uh, this uh, database, uh, then what is the designation, sir? I will be called as a DB admin or database administrator. This is the designation I will uh, get. Okay, sir, what are you trying to convey? Uh, if you learn all these things, see here, if you learn all these things, see, if you learn all these things, Oh, I'm sorry. I'll just move it below. Give me one minute. I'll draw this diagram. Okay. So see here, if you learn all these things, you will be called as a full stack developer. You will be called as full stack developer. Full stack developer means you should know front end also. You should know back end also. You should know database also. Okay, sir. What is the advantage, sir? Uh, what is the advantage? I will tell you. See, if you are a front end engineer as a fresher, you can expect a salary package up to three to five lakhs on average. Three to five LPA. LPA means lakhs per annum. So, if you are a back end engineer, you can expect. Uh, you know, on average, three to five LPA in India. You know, if you go to different countries, the scenario would be different. But in India, it is like this. Okay, sir, if I am a database admin, database admin also, you know, you, you can expect uh, uh, three to five. As a fresher, you know, the amount that will be paid for all of them will be same only. Okay, sir, if I learn front end also, back end also, database also, then what if you ask me, you can expect starting from 7 to 14 LPA. Easily, guys. I'm not exaggerating. If you want, you do your research. I have seen, I have taken interviews for a lot of people. 
the one who got recruited as a full stack developer as a fresher you know they have paid good amount of money so if you learn full stack whether it is java python dot net if you become a full stack developer the salary range would would be a different altogether when compared to a normal software engineer i hope i am completely clear with this so this is the web application this is the web application architecture web application architecture i hope i am completely clear with this so do you have any confusions up until this point do you have any confusions up until this point okay so for today right for today again i am telling you uh, with the whatever the time that uh, i had uh, you know I, i i started with the discussion this is actual part of syllabus only you know I, since we are learning java full stack first we should know what is a full stack later what all things will be there in web application these things i have covered but you know you know i i cannot stretch more because i have asked you to attend from 8 to 9 it's already 922 or 923 it's already 25 minutes extra i am i i won't ask you that hey please stretch for 20 more minutes i will take till 10 o'clock absolutely it is uh, you know it is not justice uh, you know you will feel bad and then tomorrow you'll feel hey this fellow will tell 8 o'clock and then he will take till 10 o'clock it is boring guys the main point i don't want to make you bore or something like that i want to talk about facts so this is you know i'm very happy that uh, third semester student fifth semester students who are uh, you know interested to learn this course you are do you are taken the right uh, decision in your life because see by the time you reach seventh semester if you know one technology completely and if you uh, if you mention all these technologies in your resume then the weightage for your resume would be at a different level altogether i hope i am completely clear am i completely clear with this so see uh, you know I, i don't want to stretch further uh, today uh, so first and foremost thing whatever that i conveyed to you today uh, is it completely clear or uh, you have any feedback for me like am i going too fast i want you to please respond can you please tell me whether uh, whatever that we discussed today was it uh, you know too complex for you whatever the approach that i took was it complex for you please do respond I'll not take more than uh, five minutes. Please do respond, all of you. How did you feel the first day? It is not some useless concept that I or useless thing that I spoke. E each and every point I spoke from first minute makes sense. So I don't want to waste your time. Neither I don't want to waste my time. I hope I am completely clear with that. Right? Fine. So now uh, what I'll do is, uh, you know, I'll share the attendance link with you. see five days uh, you know three days demo class is there three days demo class is there uh, you know if you attend the, all the three days without fail uh, you know you would be given the certificate you know participation certificate don't have to worry about it right so uh, you know i am uh, you know i am sending the link uh, in the chat please uh, fill in the data fill in the data <clears throat> fill in the data uh have you received the link uh, in the chat box okay i had attended for python demo class too but i still didn't get certificate uh do one thing uh you can you know anyway the python trainer would have given his uh, contact number to you just send a message that you have not received the certificate definitely you would be receiving it he would be sending it right away okay now Uh, what i will do is every day notes you know will be uploaded to this link you can access this link you know if i access this link you can notice day one folder is there it is empty as of you know, see uh, there is one disturbance uh, two minutes uh, you know it will be gone i'll be uploading the notes directly here you can uh, refer to it you can also download it from here see i will be uh, refer the diagram i will say 
I will upload the diagram also. You can take a note of it. <clears throat> so Java, maybe I will say day one and the notes, I will save it as day one. Next notice, I will upload the same. Java day one. See here, notes, I am uploading it. Right away, you can download it. <clears throat> See, I hope you received the link uh, in the chat box. Please refer the chat box. You would be receiving the link. Uh, so you can access it. Day one, this image also, I will be sending it to you. See here. Maybe I will download it. So I will uh, again see here from this, I will move it to this folder Java day one. So like this in an organized manner, you can uh, you know access the data. So this screenshot also the, the whatever the architecture that I wrote also see here, you know, this data also this file also I'll be uploading it right away. So see here, file upload. In front of you, I am doing it. Daily, I'll be doing the same, you know, notes and uh, diagram will be sent to you. Uh, the link also, I hope you received. Everyone, did you access the link? Please check whether you are able to see the notes there. Uh, please do uh, respond. Very good. So. Uh, this is this is how I'll be maintaining. So what you can do is you can keep one 200 notes book where, you know, whatever the notes I have given, you know, whatever that you have understood in your own language, you write it so that, you know, you can keep that book till you get placed. And then, you know, if you uh, if you have got placed, you share the data with your uh, friends so that, you know, they can also uh, get some help. Um, uh, you know, it will be helpful for you, definitely. But write it, uh, you have to write it in your notes. Is that completely clear? Did you guys mark the attendance? Did you guys mark the attendance? So maybe, see here, this is how it is. Uh, I'll show you, see your email address you have to enter, your uh, name you have to uh, enter here. So your phone number you have to enter. And if you have any queries, if you have any doubts or if you have not understood what I taught, if you feel that I should be improving myself or any queries, you can post it here. I hope I am completely clear with this. Is it clear? Okay. So I think uh, it's good to go for today. Uh, please don't miss the remaining uh, demo classes. See, you know, anyway, it is of free of cost, right? It is a win-win situation for you. Please attend, you know, whatever the knowledge that is possible, you gain it. It will definitely benefit you one or the other day. So if we are trying to give something, try to take it, you know, one hour in 24 hours is nothing. So take your time, you know, please spend some time, learn it. Later after three demo classes, if you feel, hey, this fellow is useless, this course is useless, you take your, uh, uh, you know, decision. But at least three demo classes, if it is completely free of cost, I don't think there is a loss in attending it. Am I completely clear? You have anything else, you have any doubts, you can post it in the chat. I am very happy to help you out. You have any feedback, you can post it so that uh, you know it will be a motivation for me. If it is a bad feedback also, you can post it. I will I'll take it positively and then I will improve myself so that I can help the student community. Please uh, do respond, guys, for two minutes and then we can conclude. <clears throat> you have any feedback? You have anything else to ask me? Please go ahead. Even biology student can learn Java in the first year only. Yes, absolutely. Anybody who sits in this class from zero, I will teach. From zero, I, I will not make any assumption that hey, this person knows programming, this person knows something. I will not make any assumption from zero. I will, you know, if a kid without any knowledge, if, even if he's a school going person, if he is, uh, if he understands English, then more than sufficient, he'll be able to understand. 
you know, whatever the person who is in a biology background, ask them to attend the session. If they feel they can understand, they can continue. If they if they don't understand, then it is up to them. Because I cannot say, you know, you know, let them, uh, you know, let them understand or let them sit in the class and experience the way that I am teaching. If they feel yes, you know, I can understand this, they can go ahead. See, I am not here to, you know, only make money. I have some ethics. I am teaching something. You sit. You understand. If you understand, well and good. If you want to continue, please pay the fees. I will not say, hey, you pay the fees, you know, some lies and all I will not tell. It is for your benefit. If you attend the batch, definitely it would benefit you. Anything else you have, please uh, post it here. I am very happy to help. If you don't have anything, please uh, you know, give me the feedback. How was it? You know, how did you feel the first session? And then, uh, you know, we can conclude. You don't have any feedback to me? Like, uh, don't you have one feedback that, hey, you, are, you have taken 50 or 30 minutes extra, something like that? It was good and helpful. Excited to learn more. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Anything else? <clears throat> interesting to know about java okay lot more to be uh, learnt it will be even more interesting absolutely trust me i learned the basics of full stack architecture i'm glad that you got it okay guys uh, you know whatever the feedback you have you can give it in this attendance sheet day one uh, daily the attendance will be collected if you attend all the demo classes then uh, participation certificate would be given to you. If you continue, then you would be getting a lot of, hell lot of knowledge. I, I can promise you that. Okay. Please don't miss uh, tomorrow's class. Uh, we will meet again at eight o'clock. Please don't be late. If you are late, then uh, it will be uh, problematic. So eight o'clock means eight o'clock I will start. Uh, till nine o'clock, maybe 10 or 15 minutes, I might extend, you know, it is for your benefit. Right? That's it uh, for today. Uh, thank you all. Uh, have a great day. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Thank you very much.